today i will discuss about the topic that is the length of runs by using runs up and runs above or below the mean now here i have stretched on the word that is the length it's not similar to the runs up or runs down which you have seen in the previous videos or runs above or below this is totally different it is a bit complex problem as you can see the algorithm is very big so to get started we'll define the first step that is to define the hypothesis for testing the independence next we'll write the sequence of runs up and down as well as the runs above and below the mean as mentioned in the question now in the question they will mention that you have to solve this problem by using runs up and down or runs above or below the mean that you have to see in the question so accordingly you have to do in separate ways but not both you have to do in the problem next you have to find the total length of the runs in the sequence means how many total number of lengths either it is three lengths or four lengths or maximum five lengths will be given in the problem so that you have to determine in third step next you have to prepare this table for the observed number of runs now this observed number of runs will contain two rows that is the run length i as well as the observed runs oi now this run length i will start from 1 and it will go up till n now value of n could be anything like n could be 4 means it will run from 1 2 3 4 or it could be 3 or could be 5 as well as the observed runs can also vary next after you do this you have to compute the expected value of yi now yi is computed for two of this testing for RURD as well as RABM now first for RURD you will compute the expected value of EI as E of YI is equal to 2 times divided by I plus 3 factorial multiplied by N square that is the total number of numbers multiplied by in bracket I square plus 3I plus 1 bracket close minus i cube plus 3i square minus i minus 4 now this formula or this expression will be applicable only if the value of i is less than or equal to n minus 2 otherwise if the value of i is equal to n minus 1 it will be 2 divided by n factorial now this is for rurd let's move on to rabm for rabm the expected value of yi is given by n multiplied by wi divided by ei where n is greater than 20. Now this yi stands for the approximate probability that a particular length has i value. Now it is given by n1 upon n raised to i multiplied by n2 upon n plus n1 upon n multiplied by n2 upon n raised to i this is just a mirror of lhs now after that you will come to ei now ei stands for the approximate expected number of length these two terms are both approximate not the true estimations so ei is given by n1 upon n2 plus n2 upon n1 so these two formulas are easy to remember next after that you will move on to the sixth step that is we have to calculate mean for runs up runs down and expected total number of runs that is EA for RABM. Now for RURD you will calculate the mean from the previous algorithm of runs up runs down as 2 times n minus 1 divided by 3 as you remember. Next for RABM you will not calculate the mean you will calculate the expected total number of runs that is EA is equal to n divided by EI EI you can get from here after that you have to calculate the expected number of runs greater than the maximum length now this is also for RURD as well as for RABM so for RURD you will calculate it as mu a that is this mean minus summation of e of y a that is this one now here i runs from 1 to m m stands for the total maximum number of lengths that is available if it is 4 it will run from 
i is from 1 to 4 simple now for array bm it is ea minus summation i is from 1 to m e of y simple for m here also remains the same now after this you have three more steps that is Step 8 is to apply the chi-square test. Now chi-square test is done in the same way we have seen in the previous videos. After this you have to calculate the value of chi alpha square for n minus 1 degrees of freedom. This is also same and the final step is to compare so step 10 remains comparison of chi 0 square as well as chi alpha square n minus 1 if this value is less than that is chi 0 square is less than chi alpha square n minus 1 we will write the hypothesis h0 is accepted and therefore the given numbers are independent so this is the algorithm in total of length of runs up by using runs above or below as well as runs up or down so hope you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this video